G'day, in this video we're going to be simplifying ratios that involve fractions. And it's a pretty simple thing to do, if you pardon the pun, but uh, like all things, it just has its couple little tricks. So this is the type of question you get asked with these. Uh, so say for instance, you were asked to simplify the following ratio. Uh, two fifths is two seven tenths. Okay, so how would you go about doing this? Oh, it's pretty easy. What we're going to be doing is we're going to look at the denominators and we're going to find the lowest common denominator that these guys have. So if you look at the lowest common number that both of these guys go into is 10. Okay, so how do we go about forming equivalent fractions so both of these fractions were over 10? Well, this one's already done. So it's only two fifths that we need to change. To change two fifths into a number over 10, we would need to get this five and multiply it by two. And what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Okay, so let's do that. All right, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So the equivalent fraction of 2 fifths is 4 tenths. This is compared to 7 tenths, which stays exactly the same. Now what we can do is we can multiply both these fractions by 10, literally just getting rid of the under 10 bit here. Our ratio becomes 4 is to 7. And you can't do much more with that, so that's as simple as you'll get it. Okay, so what about we give another one of these a go? Say, for instance, you were asked to simplify 5 sixths is to 5 over 8. Okay, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to find a common number that both 6 and 8 go into. And that number is 24. Alright, so both of these are going to need playing around with to turn them into equivalent fractions out of 24. What would you multiply by 6 to get 24? And that is 4. So we're going to multiply the bottom by 4, and to keep it equivalent, we're going to multiply the top by 4. For this fraction here, what would you multiply by 8 to get 24? You'd multiply it by 3. If you multiply the bottom by 3, you're going to have to multiply the top by 3 to keep it equivalent. So let's see what our answer is here. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Put the little uh, is two sign there. Five times three is 15, and eight times three is 24. Now the denominators, as you can see, are the same. So literally what we're doing is we are now comparing 20 to 15. We can cancel those denominators out. Now this can be simplified a little bit further because there's a number that goes into both of these. What number goes into both of these? And you can see that five does. 20 divided by five is equal to four, 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. And that is the ratio we have. What about we do one more of these? In fact, let's make this one a little bit trickier. This is going to be 1 is to 1 and 3 fifths. Okay, so I want to simplify this here. How do we go about doing this? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this fraction here and I'm going to turn it into an improper fraction. Okay, so if you're not certain how to do this, in the video description down below, uh, there is a link to a playlist which talks about how to do all these sorts of things with fractions. But what we're going to do is 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is equal to 8. And the denominator stays the same. Okay, this is compared to 1. Now, which, what is 1 as a fraction over 5? And you can say, okay, 1 is equal to 5 divided by 5. So, what we have now is we have 5 over 5 is to 8 over 5. All right, so let's simplify this now. We can get rid of these denominators and we are left with five is to eight. It's pretty cool, right? All right, what about one more of these nasty ones? Okay, for our last example, let's go two and a quarter compared to one and one half. Okay, let's see what we get when we do this. Okay, uh, so first off, we're gonna change these into improper fractions. Two times four is eight plus one is equal to nine, and that goes over four. Uh, one times two is equal to two, plus one is three, and that goes over two. Now we're going to look for a common factor that both four and two go into, which is four. We're not gonna to have to change this one at all, but we're going to have to change this. Uh, how would you go from two to four? What would you multiply by? It would be two. Two times two is four. What we do to the bottom, we're gonna to do to the top. So that one we'd have to change. So the 9 over 4 is going to stay the same. The 9 over 4 stays the same. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 
2 times 2 is equal to 4. We can now cancel these guys out, and we're left with 9 is to 6. And we can simplify that further now. Uh, 3 goes into both of these. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So how did you go with that? If you liked the video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you're getting stuck with fractions at all, if you've got a lot of work to do with fractions, in the description below, there is a link to a playlist which I've made up which looks at all the different things to do with fractions. Even some little uh, cheats on how you can do them a fair bit faster. Anyway, hopefully you have a look at that one. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.